afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. You know, we've got a big football game down here tonight. That'll be the uh, Michigan-Georgia game out there. I was trying to get tickets to that win that uh, game uh, as soon as I knew who was in it. And the ticket prices are extraordinary. <laughs> it's just extraordinary. So, uh, uh, plus, I don't know that I'd be going down to the uh, game tonight based on uh, all the uh, viral stuff that's going on. And anyway, let's get to the markets out here. Right now, uh, we've got the, uh, let me get to my screen. We've got the uh, Dow is trading up 61 points. The S&P is up two. NASDAQ 100 is off 53. Russell's up one. Semis are up seven. That's flat. Trend is up 128. Gold is up 15 bucks. Taking out, it appears to be taking out the uh, resistance, the top of its weekly profile out there. So that's looking pretty good. Let's go take a look at our indice charts out here. We did cover these during the our last hour, but uh, for those of you that are just listening in, here in the upper left-hand corner, you're going to see the Dow. As we end the year, if the Dow closes below 36, 565.73, now it's favor that that's going to happen, don't know for sure, then the uh, Dow maintains its TD9 count top. It has a top in place. If we take a look at the S&P 500, yesterday there was an A to B equals CD to the upside. It's not the kind that Stevie likes to see because this is more than a 0.786 retracement. But nonetheless, you do have that signal out there. Price should pull back to 47.52. We get below that. That tells us that we may have that top that uh, Stevie's been looking for. The NASDAQ 100, the NDX, it's got a Rhodes Mintum Indicator top still in place, as does the Russell. The semis, they formed a Rhodes Mintum Indicator top four days ago. Price below their green oscillator and change line. That suggests a pull back out here. The transports just haven't really been able to make heads or tails as to what it is doing from a pattern standpoint, so I'll just simply move beyond that. You've got the XAU, so gold is taking out a key swing, swing uh, the key resistance level, the top of its weekly profile, and it has taken out a swing point to suggest an A to B equals CD the upside is forming. The XAU needs to close above the high from December 28th, and that high out there is 132.30. So we've got the XAU, and right now it's trading out at 132 229 <laughs> one, one penny so if you get the xau to close above that td9 count gold to close above the top of its weekly profile well that looks pretty good but pretty good means that it just heads right to the top of that monthly profile that's gold that is the monthly profile for gold would be 1868.70 we get above that then we are off to the races to the upside folks have a happy new year out there we'll see you on monday be safe and uh, thanks for all of your support throughout the year take care